Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And the floor is now given to the defense teams. La parole est à présent donnée aux équipes de défense. Party. And uh, please wait, the defense team, instant, because uh, Judge Lavench uh, have some questions for the civil party. You may now proceed. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank Bonsoir, you, Mr. Euh, Madame euh, la Partie civile. Good afternoon, Madame en fait, j'ai surtout une question à vous poser. I have just one question Ce matin, for you. This morning, vous avez indiqué que you stated vous aviez remarqué qu'il y avait des disparitions you qui se produisaient sur le site de travail du barrage du 1er janvier. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si ces disparitions intervenaient fréquemment est-ce qu'il y a beaucoup de personnes qui ont disparu Did many people disappear? Male Ils workers were told that they had to go to work in a new place. Or sometimes they required uh, to have uh, these male workers to work Parfois, with other forces a in des other work sites. And as I said, mostly male workers équipes. disappeared. Et ce sont surtout des hommes qui ont ainsi disparu. Et si vous vous souvenez des personnes qui ont ainsi disparu, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si ces personnes faisaient partie du peuple du 17 avril ou si c'était des personnes du peuple de base uh, I used to see them, but later on, uh, they were told that they need to go to work in other places. As for unit chief, uh, they were still there, and female unit chief were also there. Même chose pour les groupes de femmes. At the outset, uh, the dis disappearance uh, did not occur much, but later in 1977, début, there was much disappearance of people. Ce matin, vous avez de travail, This morning, you also des vêtements talked about working conditions. En haillons, you talked of clothes que vous aviez that pour les were so free that they became like rags. J'aimerais savoir And si on vous fournissait des chaussures pour travailler sur them. le site. Please tell us, were you also provided with shoes on that work site? Shoes, but the shoes partant, nous avions apporté were made out of avec lesquelles nous avons pu faire du troc. Tires, rub. Mais pour ce qui est des chaussures, elles étaient faites And, uh, new people, à partir de pneus. Many of new people did not have Beaucoup de membres uh, du shoes to wear, nouveau, and mostly they uh, were wearing only tattered clothes. Et ils des When vêtements I arrived at the first January dam site, I was given je suis a set of clothes. Sur le du And when I janvier, was living in the village, uh, I was told that uh, since my mother village, had uh, clothing for me to wear, I was not given any clothing. And uh, we also have had hats Nous and the cone hat. Un chapeau triangulaire. 
and uh, my uh, mother took that cone head and combined with a piece of cloth elle y a the rain the uh, rain coat the sheet from rain coat and we could uh, wear it and uh, can uh, not be uh, cannot uh, get wet wet during the raining time pour éviter que nous ne prenions la pluie lorsqu'il pleuvait Je vous remercie beaucoup, madame. Je n'aurai pas d'autres questions à vous poser. Thank you very much, madame. I have no further questions for you. President, now I give the floor to the defense team for Mr. Nunchier to put questions to this civil party. You may now proceed, uh, Mr. Kofi. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours Council. Good afternoon, Madam Civil Party. Um, I have a few questions for you, not, not very many. Um, my first question to you is about your civil party application of um, 26 March 2010, D22-2531-1. Um, in this uh, civil party application, you speak um, about the events between 75 and 79. Um, you also speak about locations where alleged crimes were committed. However, I noted um, that you didn't mention the 1st January Dam work site as a crime site. As a matter of fact, you didn't mention the 1st January Dam, dam at all. Um, do you remember what the reason was that back in 2010, um, when you filed your form, you didn't mention that you had worked at the 1st January Dam work site? In my statement, I uh, did not put everything in it because I was uh, told to give a brief statement. Actually, there were many other incidents uh, such as lack of food, lack of gruel, etc. And uh, I was asked about the 1st January dam size, so I uh, made my statement in that document that I uh, was there at the 1st January dam site for three months. And in fact, in addition to the, that information, I uh, witnessed some killings as, as well. On one particular night, I, uh, they were about to take me away to be killed, but uh, I was lucky on that day, but my colleague who was uh, staying close uh, to my place uh, was taken away and killed. Thank you, uh, Madam Civil Party. In your supplementary information um, form or, or story, um, which is dated 22nd of April 2014, and which is E307-616, um, you do speak about your work at the 1st January Dam site. Um, we note that this is about two weeks or three weeks after what we call the um, severance decision uh, in which it was decided that we would speak about the 1st January Dam. Did somebody approach you and ask you to file a supplementary information form and this time uh, speak about uh, your work at the 1st January Dam? Vous vous demandez de parler de ce que vous avez fait sur le chantier du barrage du 1er janvier. Actually, to perhaps cases uh, 03 or 04, and I was asked about uh, the 1st uh, January dam site. I was asked about that matter later on. Uh, thank you, Madam Civil Party. Uh, I would like now to go back to your testimony um, of this morning. Uh, if I understood your testimony correctly, you said that it was you um, who decided 
to go work at the 1st January dam. Do you remember at the time um, what your parents thought of this? Uh, did they agree with you volunteering to work at the 1st January dam or were they against it? Answer. They disagreed. They wanted me to work in my village. Ils voulaient que je travaille dans mon propre village. But there was information in the unit that there. Mais j'avais entendu dire. They needed uh, forces to work at uh, Tronopno and uh, First January Dam site. And I asked uh, them what. I had to do at the 1st January dam site, and I was told that uh, I had to carry earth. I did Et not want to go to work in the farm because I was afraid of uh, the de la terre. Moi, je worm. That is why I decided to, to go to work at uh, the 1st January dam site. Et pourquoi décidé I decided to go because I uh, wanted uh, them to consider that I sacrificed uh, to work at that place and uh, my family would be spared. Um, do you remember whether your parents were uh, upset Question. that you ignored uh, their advice and notwithstanding vos their Negative advice, you went to the 1st January dam anyway. Were, were they upset? Answer. They were not happy. But uh, my, young, my older siblings uh, consoled them that if I uh, did not go at this time, so I would have to go. Later on. During that time, I decided to go because I wanted to work there and I observed that uh, the situation was becoming uh, worse. Everyone in the village decided to go to work because they were afraid of the uh, saying that uh, keep keeping is no gain, taking away is no loss if uh, one did not go to work. And as I said, uh, during that period, uh, they needed uh, the active people to go and work. <coughs> Thank you. This morning you also um, said that um, People thought at the time that you were in fact too young to go to work at the 1st January Dam work site. Do you remember who these people were vous who thought that and told you this? Qui étaient ces gens qui vous ont parlé ainsi? Answer. Many of them and uh, people were saying, I was too young, cela. why I decided uh, to go jeune, and work in the mobile unit. I was considered a, a, a young itinerant. child at that time. I uh, did not know how to swim, but I decided nager, uh, to go and work there, even I knew that uh, we had to travel by boat to reach that work site. And as I said earlier, I uh, wanted to go and dit, uh, carry earth rather than to work in the field because I was afraid of uh, worms in the field. I understand, réserve, but, but do you remember pères. concretely who it was that said that you were too young? What were these people from your village? Question. Les gens qui vous ont um, dit cela, que, qui vous ont dit que vous étiez trop jeune. Do you jeune. remember who Et told you this? Vous vous de qui il s'agissait? Answer. Base uh, villagers Réponse. knew my uh, parents. And uh, 17 April, people also mentioned about me. Du Most of the time, I, uh, need, I uh, could uh, speak to the 17 April people. I was not uh, courageous enough to speak uh, with uh, base 
C'était parce que je n'avais pas le courage de parler avec le peuple de base. Spoke about me, about the time that I decided to go and work. Du moment où j'ai décidé d'aller travailler ainsi. Do you remember whether your parents um, complained to the village chief about you volunteering to go to work at the first January Dam work site? pour aller travailler sur le chantier de construction du barrage du 1er janvier? Answer no, they did not complain. Um, now, Madam Civil Party, have some questions, additional questions Madame about the civile, um, working conditions at the dam site. Um, some witnesses have come to this trial chamber and sat in the same chair as, as where you are sitting and testified uh, that the lunch break. Um, on an average day was between 11 and 1 or between 11 and 2 o'clock. Um, is that um, a correct testimony from these witnesses or what is your reaction please? Answer. I uh, did not have Réponse. watch. I do Je not recall it. Montre. Actually, we pas. heard the bell uh, ringing Nous when la the, there was a break time for lunch. Lunch break déjeuner. was uh, very short. Cette pause After était très we courte. had lunch and uh, drink water, we returned to work. Nous it was a short break. I did not have watch pause. and I did Je not have time. I uh, did not uh, usually uh, take a nap during Mais that time. General, je ne pas faire de à ce Is it correct that um, the bell for the lunch break exact de dire was not only for the workers uh, in your unit, but for all the workers at the dam, for everybody who worked there? Du chantier, pas pour votre unité. President, please give Le your response. You have répondre, not given plaît. the response Vous yet. Vous pas encore répondu. Answer: Yes, that is true. Réponse: Oui, c'est exact. Um, some witnesses also testified. Question. D'après um, certains témoins, before the chamber and said that se sont um, la there was a break um, in the morning Il y session. Il y avait également une pause so pendant la matinée. Between around 7 and 11. People would work, and in the middle of that morning session, there would be a 15-minute break. General, Is that also your recollection? Milieu de la matinée, il y avait une petite pause de 15 minutes. Ces, de, ces déclarations vous rafraîchissent-elles la mémoire? Answer. I am not sure. Uh, normally, Je I went to fetch and collect. The water, perhaps général, uh, it was during that time, the time that I went to collect water, it was a break time. I recalled only at the break pause. time for lunch and the break time in the evening. Oh, thank you. Um, Question, merci. About working in the evening Pour ce qui est du or at night, le soir um, ou la nuit. there are witnesses who are, who are saying that working at night. Uh, was not frequent, was, was occasional, and, and one witness testified that um, working at night was only done when the moon was waxing, therefore once a month. Um, is that your recollection as well? Answer. From my recollection, during the Réponse. The time which uh, the, the moon was not uh, waxing, we uh, would they would use the uh, torch and they uh, burn the torch de to de light the uh, work site and we were. Uh, um, but was night work occasional or was it frequent? Question. Mais ce travail était-il occasionnel ou fréquent? Ok, 
get the first answer. Réponse. I do not recall it well. It was night time. Je ne pas I très went bien. to work. Je sais que c'était le soir qu'il fallait travailler. The Il older colleagues would tell me that uh, there was no break time uh, at night and uh, when uh, we were asked to be uh, in full swing uh, we would work until uh, 10 p.m. Nous pouvions travailler jusqu'à 22 for example, heures. Uh, there would some, be sometime a quota for us to complete in Par one exemple, month, so we had to be active during that time. Um, your answer brings me to my next Question subject, and that is the, the, the matter of quota. Suivant, um, you quota. said that for you there weren't any uh, specific vous quota, but do you remember whether your group had quota in the sense of si X amount of cubic meters uh, per day uh, had to be dug uh, at the time? Do you remember any specific number of cubic meters? I do not Réponse. recall it well. Je I do not recall uh, the amount of dirt that we were required to complete. I was uh, so young at that time, and as I said, I was sold to jeune. fetch water for workers on, on some occasion. I do not recall how many cubic meters was required for one but one worker to complete. Um, this morning you spoke about, um, I believe it was the, the group chief, uh, Singh, um, Singh, yes. Um, did you ever hear him make threats to workers? Answer. He only uh, encouraged us to work. He never Il fait que nous met. À he, he's never made any uh, strong threats, but uh, we were told to menacé. work hard in our assignment. Il nous a dit there were no beatings by him. Et nous nous and pas. Uh, no fatal accidents occurred at the 1st January dam site. Um, you also spoke about um, workers in your group or unit who got sick, who were allowed to go back to the village to be taken care of, um, and that these people didn't come back because it was only three months. Um, do you know whether within your group workers were rotated um, or were replaced by other workers from your village, or was your group always the same of the same composition uh, in those three months? Answer. No, réponse. I have never noticed any such uh, rotation. Non, je n'ai jamais remarqué que les ouvriers étaient ainsi relevés. And uh, for the sick, they would be sent to the villages malades, and uh, treated. Quant aux dans leur village pour s'y faire soigner. Um, you said also this morning Question. that um, the food Ce matin, that you and your co-workers uh, ate while working at the uh, dam site was brought from your village. Chantier, um, do you remember who organized the transport of this food, who was responsible for bringing the food from your village uh, to the work site? Votre village et le chantier? Answer. The one who transported Réponse. the food was in my village. He Celui was in charge la nourriture venait de mon village. of uh, economy, Celui qui était and uh, he de was the one who transported rice Celui and the food supplies to the work sites. Et tous les vivres sur and, and do you recall whether he did that every day, 
question. Or every other day, Et or maybe twice per day. S'il le faisait tous les jours, tous les deux jours, deux fois par jour. Answer. He did not uh, transport Réponse. for supplies uh, quite often. He would transport for supplies souvent. every four to ten days. It was it was not uh, too pre frequent that he uh, transported uh, those food supplies. Sometimes he would uh, bring uh, those foods uh, two weeks after another. Parfois, il apportait de la nourriture toutes les deux semaines. Did he also bring other things uh, than food from the village um, to your, your group or unit? À votre groupe, à votre um, unité? Things that you or your colleagues had asked for. Uh, things like um, clothes or mosquito nets. That kind of things, or did he only bring food? À la demande de l'un de vos collègues, apportait-il autre chose que de la nourriture? No, Answer. I do Réponse. not uh, know about this pas. matter. I only knew that uh, he transported food supplies. Tout Whether he brought along um, other materials uh, is it is beyond my understanding. Je ne sais pas autre chose. And when somebody felt sick Question. and had to be taken care of in the village, malade, um, did this sick person travel back with uh, this man who had brought the food, or was it a separate, was it a separate means of having the sick person transported back to the village? Answer. Mostly the sick would be brought to the villages with La plupart des malades the one who was in charge of transporting repartaient dans leur village supplies. avec la personne qui était chargée d'apporter uh, la nourriture. Et dans d'autres travaux, les malades seraient mis sur le même type de transport que les transporteurs de nourriture. Dans d'autres types de travail, les uh, malades uh, montaient à bord des charrettes qui étaient utilisées pour transporter um, la nourriture. This morning, you also said that Question. you believe that Ce the matin, medic who had given you medicine uh, when you yourself felt sick uh, was uh, not well trained. Do you remember why you thought at the time that this medic was not well trained? Answer. I know about it because the medic Je did not savais. know how to treat uh, the sick. Uh, there was no uh, blood test. Et and if uh, uh, one sang, happens to get uh, dysentery or diarrhea, si we, diarrhée, that person would be given the, the rabbit trapping medicine. And those ma medics uh, were children of uh, base uh, people. Actually, uh, these people, I mean the medics, uh, would perhaps receive uh, some short training how to give injection or how to uh, give a medicine. And this medic uh, did not uh, know how to read and write. So mostly they were illiterate. Do you know anything about um, the training? or medical backgrounds in terms que of education of the medics who, had, who were working at the district hospitals or at this hospital in the pagoda um, that you were speaking about this morning. Ce matin. Do you know anything about their background? Savez-vous ce qu'il en était de ces personnes, de leur formation? Answer. They actually, they were not uh, actual. Um, m there were no medics, the modern medics at uh, the uh, hospital, in the hospital at the uh, Palgoda. Mostly they were traditional healers. I knew one person, Tamon. He would avoid the herbal medicines and give to the patient. 
And as for the liquid, as I said, euh, there was a liquid in the bottle, boire, euh, and des, uh, liquides, the liquid would be used to give injection for the patient. There were no proper clothing for uh, those medics. They wore black de clothing. Is it um, nevertheless correct when I say that um, when you were sick, um, you were given medical treatment, good or not, but it wasn't withheld to you because you were a new person. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. However, the medicine that was given to us was not effective. Um, my last set of questions, uh, Madam Civil Party, um, that is about um, uh, your father and about the husband of your sister. Um, you said that you didn't know um, the rank, the military rank of, of your father. Um, but was it known to the village chief that, was it known to the village chief that he had uh, served in the Lonol army before 1975? Maybe the village chief did not know uh, about his position as nobody spoke about it. And we all didn't reveal his uh, position through the village chief. Um, maybe I, I didn't understand your uh, testimony correctly, but I wrote down this morning that you said that every, everyone uh, knew your father's position. La position de did, poste de votre père. When you said that, did that imply that they, kn that they knew, that everyone knew that he had been uh, a Lon Nol um, uh, military? Militaire de Lon Nol. Maybe they suspected him, but uh, they didn't know for sure. John one day interrogated me about my father's position, and I said he didn't do anything. He was a, a merchandise, and he works in the rice field. And that's what was written in the biography. However, as for my brother and the brother-in-law, they searched his belonging, and they found the military uniform in his backpack. And it was rather frequent at the time that they conducted a search by searching through our belongings, looking for any clues linking to any enemy, and the search was conducted village-wide. My father was a hard-working man, and he worked very hard and in order not to allow them to have any suspicion on him. However, he also knew how to uh, treat the people, but he didn't reveal about uh, what he knew on the treatment. Uh, nobody knew that he uh, could uh, treat the people. And I believe Personne that they only had a suspicion gens, on him. And what about de um, de your brother-in-law? When did they do the searches and found out that he had been um, a pilot in the Lonol Army? I did not know. Because a few days after they got married, I was assigned to work at Stem Chinatari, where there is the first January Dam work site. So I did not know the details about what happened back at the village. I only heard from others regarding what happened, and I didn't have a full account of the event. But is it correct that both your father and the husband um, of your sister um, had worked in the village um, right after 
the liberation of 1975. After the liberation on the 17 April 1975, they wrapped in a rice field as other villagers that were spread the instructions by the Khmer Rouge. If their identity as former um, Lonol military, if that wasn't known for two years, do you si know if someone within the village uh, betrayed them to the village chief or to, the, to Ankar or to the authorities? Quelqu'un les a trahis et les a dénoncés à l'Ankar ou aux autorités? That is a possibility, but I cannot say for sure. Réponse. Initially, my elder brother-in-law and my elder sibling were taken away and killed. Début, and it was my parents who actually made a request to leave with my elder siblings. A été emmené pour être and exécuté. that was the uh, first time on the 21st in uh, July 1977 when my siblings and family members were killed. And at that time, my mother did not know that uh, my other sister was killed. And as she was instructed to relocate to another village, she requested to accompany my elder sister since she was uh, pregnant. And she also requested to have my parent uh, to come along. He was at a plantation at Bang Rai, which was about two or three a communes away. It is my understanding that they did not uh, suspect uh, the, uh, the position or the role of my father in the previous regime, but he sais, might be the victim of pas, the position of my elder uh, brother-in-law. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Civil Party. My national colleague, uh, Mr. President, has a few questions Monsieur as well. Président, mon confrère du côté national a également quelques questions à poser. Ah, President, yes, uh, Council, you may proceed. Oui, allez-y, Maître. Council, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, good afternoon, Monsieur Mr. Le President, President your honours, and bon everyone, and midi. good afternoon, Madam Civil Party. My name Madame is Liu Suwana. I am a defense counsel for Nunji's defense. And I only have uh, a few questions uh, for you to seek uh, for your clarification. A while ago, you said that uh, people were taken away from the work site as they were told to relocate the work at other work sites. And can you tell the chamber at which work site did this happen? Answer, it happened at a uh, first injury uh, work site, although there uh, were only a few cases there, and it happened at other uh, work sites, if you allow me to expand. Question, you said that uh, people were uh, transferred to work elsewhere, and my question to you is, at which work site that this happened? President, Madame Civil Party, please observe the microphone. Veuillez, veuillez à ce que le micro soit allumé avant d'intervenir. Answer. You asked me a question in relation to the first January Dam work site, and that happened Réponse, at that work site. Réponse, vous m'avez posé une question sur le site de travail du barrage du 1er janvier. Eh bien, c'est là que ce I'd like to have a clear clarification since you worked at various question. work sites. 
Étant donné que vous avez travaillé sur plusieurs sites de travail, j'aimerais que les choses soient claires. Vous avez dit que des gens ont été envoyés travailler sur d'autres sites de travail. Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen that some people have been sent to other sites to work? Did your observation to happen And got so worried, people disappeared, and in some instances, I knew for sure that they had been killed. However, I am not sure what happened to those workers who were relocated from the first January Dam work site. And at Rolum Pneu, as I said earlier, a woman who stayed next to me was taken away by an ox cart. Qui a été emmenée par un charrette à deux. C'était une femme qui séjournait près de là où je séjournais. Cette femme And a été exécutée. Et je suis le tueur de la mort. Et je suis le seul survivant de ma famille. Mais malheureusement, la femme qui était à côté de moi a été tuée et brûlée. Membre de ma famille, Question. malheureusement, c'est la dame à you côté de moi qui a été this morning that you fail unconscious once while working. And can you please tell the chamber at which work site did this happen? And so it was at the first January dam work site. Question. You also said after uh, you became un after you fell unconscious, then you were taken away uh, for a treatment, and after a few days you returned to uh, work. Did you return to work uh, voluntarily, or was you were you forced to return to work? Answer: so I was asked by the group chief whether I was able to work, and I said yes, I could work, so I returned. Council, I thank you, Madam Civil Party, and thank you, Mr. President. I am done. Merci, Madame la Partie Civile. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Jean-Luc. President, thank you. President, merci. The chamber now hands the floor to the defence team for Kiev Saint Paul. You may proceed, Council. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, bonjour, Madame Sengsovida. Je m'appelle Antagissé. Je suis un, un co-avocat international de Monsieur Kusampan. Et j'ai quelques vraiment très courtes et brèves questions pour préciser votre déposition. Clarify your testimony. This morning, you said that you were able to work on the one January dam. You first were assigned to the one January dam. You first were assigned to the one January dam. You first were assigned to the one January dam. You first were assigned to the one January dam. You first were assigned to the one January dam. You first were assigned to the one January dam. You first were assigned to the one January dam. You first were assigned to the one January dam. You first were assigned to the one January dam. You first were assigned to the one January dam. You first were assigned to the one January dam. You first were assigned to the one January dam. You first were assigned to the one January dam. You first were assigned to the one January dam. You first were assigned to the one Place which was about one or two kilometers away from where you would sleep. Ningyam samra bahaji mukhai bak mukhai tamrom kitfu rong ruoi. It was about a, a month until that building was completed. Il a fallu à peu près un mois avant que le bâtiment soit terminé. Donc si je comprends bien votre déposition. Pendant un mois, vous avez travaillé dans ce lieu-là. Et après, pendant les deux autres, pendant les deux autres mois, pour la totalité de vos trois mois, c'était un endroit qui était un peu plus éloigné. C'est bien ça. Yes, that is correct. 
toujours pour euh, essayer again, de préciser ce que vous avez dit ce matin, j'ai cru comprendre que euh, morning, vous avez commencé à travailler believe, euh, sur I le barrage euh, quelque part en février, euh, et vous avez dit à peu près trois mois, et j'ai cru entendre de votre déposition ce matin que vous avez indiqué que vous êtes parti aux alentours du nouvel an Khmer. Ma question est de savoir est-ce que c'était avant ou après le nouvel an Khmer je suis After the Khmer New Year, and it is possible that I return at the end of uh, April or Il in uh, May of that fin year, mai, fin avril plutôt, ou en mai de cette année. and that uh, my family members had Il been killed already when I returned. However, I can uh, confirm that I worked for a total period of uh, three months at the dam site. Maintenant, un, Now, um, une autre précision sur uh, uh, ce que vous avez décrit ce matin uh, uh, du, du 1er janvier. Uh, uh, vous avez indiqué que um, le réfectoire, enfin l'endroit où vous mangez à midi, n'était pas loin du site sur lequel vous travaillez. Et vous avez également um, évoqué uh, des récipients qui étaient uh, dans lesquels on faisait bouillir de l'eau. Ma question est la suivante est-ce que cette eau qui était bouillie Uh, était uh, à destination boiled. de votre seul groupe uh, uh, group, du village d'où vous veniez ou est-ce que c'était uh, à destination group, de l'ensemble des groupes uh, que vous pouviez côtoyer uh, sur le site de travail groups, uh, Donc est-ce que, comme la nourriture, c'était so, uh, like le responsable de votre unité qui était en charge de cette partie-là Ou est-ce que c'était plus général pour les autres unités It was a, a general water for workers' consumption, and it was boiled in a large cooking pot, not in a, a water boiling kettle. And The uh, water was bought by various groups. For example, in our group, we bought the water for, for our own group of consumption, and it happens to other groups. Um, un autre um, point sur. Et ce sera le, mon, mon dernier point sur euh, l'organisation euh, des groupes. J'ai compris que lorsque vous êtes arrivé, il y avait, euh, j'ai cru comprendre qu'il y avait à peu près 10 personnes par village. Ma question était de savoir si sur votre lieu d'affectation au moment où vous travaillez, vous continuiez toujours à travailler par village. Donc est-ce que dans votre groupe, il n'y avait qu'une dizaine de personnes ou j'ai mal compris, est-ce qu'il y avait d'autres personnes At that time, the, the village workforce uh, were combined with the other forces from the villages under the commune, and then we worked uh, under the uh, district. So there were quite a number of workers uh, in terms of all the workforces from the villages under the uh, one commune, for example, the Saikaiwa commune. And that's how it happened. And I can only speak about what happened uh, under my village and the commune. And you can say that usually the workforce uh, would be organized per commune under the uh, district. Je vous remercie, hein, Madame Zinke Solida, mais je n'ai plus d'autres questions, Monsieur le Président. Je crois que mon confrère a une Madame brève Madame question complémentaire. Nous en aurons terminé. Merci.
President, thank you. And Council Councilman, do you have the floor? Councilman, thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours, and good afternoon, Madam Civil Party. I have a quick question regarding your testimony and your response to Judge Lavin's question on the issue of disappearance. You said that people, more disappearance happened vous after 1977, 1977, and you just also said that people disappeared at the first Henry Denberg site, although there were only a few cases, and more similar cases happened at other work sites. Y avait que cas, et que My y avait question to you is the following. Do you know when the first Henry Denberg work site started? And when it was completed, Ma question of course, you told the court that uh, you started working there, and then you continued working there for uh, three months. Votre but I want to know about uh, when it was uh, started and when it was completed. Answer. 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 I do not know when the construction work started, since when I, I arrived, there had been workers there, and when I left, the construction work was not yet completed. And there were workers there from Barai, Tangkuk, and other nearby communes, continued working while I returned to my uh, village. So uh, to uh, briefly answer your question, I am not sure. Question. Did you return to the village only by yourself or your entire unit from the village returned? Answer. All the workforce in the district returned. Question. You also said that uh, you volunteered to sacrifice yourself uh, to work at the first January Dam work site. As you believe, it would assist the tense condition or situation within uh, your family as you consider that going to work in the hot zone or hot battlefield would uh, assist uh, in this matter. Can you tell the court, did you make that uh, decision when you were around 11 or 12 years old at the time? And the, I thought that the group chief Je and que the village chief group seems to actually oppress the, the 17 April people in terms of uh, working conditions. And we, the Phnom Penh city dwellers, were being Nous, asked about our uh, background. And I was with the uh, children de, of the uh, best people, Moi, and I learned some additional information, and I, I learned that we, the 17 Abri people, had to work hard, otherwise we would be sent or transferred to work, of, to work further and more intensive, far away from the uh, village, with village little food uh, distribution. So when I uh, took into account uh, these factors, and also from what I saw on the uh, beating up of a man named Lee Tong, who was in a mobile unit, and I was afraid that uh, Eh bien, peur. They beat up a person in terms of the working condition and due to his uh, half-blood Chinese background. De travail, et il y avait également le fait était à I was told that 
Actually, he was taken uh, away to be killed and buried under a tree. However, for some reason, he survived, and the uh, killer was uh, Chong. And I learned uh, various other information from uh, people in the village. And based on the uh, information, and from what happened to this man, Et de ce qu est à I cette came up uh, with that decision and allow me uh, to continue. Si vous me uh, an elder uh, brother-in-law of my sister-in-law who was in a uh, mobile unit qui était dans une unité mobile. and he knew that my other sister was about to get married so he gave her a scarf as a souvenir and later on we learned that he had been killed in a nearby village. Question. And uh, what you said regarding uh, the, the event, can you recall in which year it happened? Answer. It happened around uh, early 1977 before I left for the first Indian Dam work site. As uh, when I returned, I only stayed for three days at the village. Question. Question. You were uh, told secretly about uh, this event. And can you recall, actually, who told you that? Qui vous en a parlé? And uh, that you had to uh, work harder in the qui village, otherwise you would be sent to work elsewhere, far Et away from the village. Ailleurs, très loin du village. And so uh, I was told about the uh, tense uh, condition and situation in the village. On m'a parlé de la situation and dans le village. And it was my own thinking tendue. that if Et I ever to work hard, far away pensé. from the village, je pensais que si je then my loin family village, members would be safe. And I understood that in my family, my parents were old. And I was the uh, main person with strength uh, to work and to assist uh, the uh, family. And if I did not go to work at the uh, dam site, then I would be sent to work elsewhere anyway. Cancer. My question to you is in relation to the name of person who told you about uh, working hard or that you had to sacrifice uh, to work hard. Et aller travailler dur. And sir, I can uh, not recall nom? the name. Réponse, je ne me souviens pas de son nom. However, I spoke to children of Cependant, the best uh, people, and some of them are still alive. Enfants, and I was told not only by uh, one bas, child, but by uh, many children. Question, you mean children de of your peer? And sir, yes. Vous parlez de... Question plutôt, vous parlez Question. de... Uh, the man, Li Tong, oui, that question. you uh, mentioned, Tong, dont vous avez parlé. did uh, what happened to him? Que did it happen in your cooperative? Answer, it happened in my village. Question, que passé dans votre can you please uh, réponse, uh, uh, have to call the name of the village? Answer, it was recyclable. Cancer, Mr. President, I'm done. Terminé, President, President, thank President, you. Madame Siang Solida. Madame Siang Solida. Now you're at the end of your testimony and you are given an opportunity to make a statement of impact regarding the facts alleged against the true accused Nguyen Tien Kiel Sampond in relation to what happened to you during the Democratic Comité regime and that led you to file a civil party application and to claim for moral and collective reparations in terms of the damage that happened to you physically and emotionally or materially in terms of uh, what happened to you. And if you wish to do so, you have the floor. Civil Party, Mr. President, I, may I ask a question? 
President, you cannot put the question directly through the accused. However, you can put your question through us, the, the, the bench. Civil party. I'd like to put a question through Mr. President of the trial chamber. The Khmer Rouge leader made a propaganda that they wanted to save the nation and to save the people. However, upon gaining the victory, they did the contrary. They massacred their own people. They forced their own people to work and they deprived their own people of food. And they considered uh, their people as their enemies. And I, it is my belief that they consider the 17 April people as the enemy, and I want to know why they did that, and for what purpose, and for what gain. And I'd like them to answer in detail about the reasoning behind this, so that the young Cambodian and the next generation will understand their motive. And this will also enlighten the people as it brings out the truth. And it will also be the truth for the victims, including my parents and siblings and relatives who died during the regime. I'd like them to tell us the truth and not any more lies. They kept saying that they did not know about what happened and that what happened was done by the lower cadres. Do you mean that you, who were at the, level, at the upper level, did not have any authority at all during the regime? You did not control the country at all? Please tell us the truth. Tell us what happened. And this is part of the Cambodian history so that the young generation can understand. And I'd like a library be built in order to contain any documents relating to what happened during the Khmer Rouge regime as well as uh, the archives of uh, the proceedings in this court since case 001, as this is one of the as in the world, there has not been a similar case that people kill their own people. I, I think it might be a personal revenge that they killed the people from Phnom Penh. Not everyone wants to live in Phnom Penh, if uh, you can imagine. In Phnom Penh, area bombardment happened almost every day at a time. We didn't have a proper chance to go to school regularly. And although some uh, people who worked for the former Lono regime or who were uh, military officials also actually joined or assisted those who worked for the revolution as uh, they provided secret information to uh, the Khmer Rouge side. And my father, he never committed any wrongdoing. And I want justice for him. And I want them to tell the truth as soon as possible because they are very old now before it is too late. And I want the truth to be told by them so that the victims can hear it and hear the truth in this court we all were delighted when this court was established. And initially, I was uh, very angry when I heard about my Rouge leaders were being detained at uh, this court. I wanted to kill them as a revenge because they were the ones that led me through misery, led me through, through lose my family members and beloved parents. They claimed that they did not uh, know what happened at the upper level, why they didn't go down to the bus to observe firsthand as to of what happened. If you were leaders of the country, it is similar as you are 
the uh, custodians in the family, Alors, you should know what's going on in your family. Famille, titre, My father spoke of Kyosun Pon when he was alive. He said after the uh, end of the Israel regime, he wanted to, uh, to actually flee into the forest to join the movement. Le pour But le mouvement. in the end, I don't understand uh, what happened. Et je ne sais pas ce qu'il s'est passé en fin de compte. And by 1970, uh, Prince control and to manage the finance. Afin de gérer les finances. And they, the leaders, they should know about the well-being and about the living condition of their own people. And if they do not know anything about that, what, what, was, what were they doing at the Alors, upper qu level? Qu for them, they didn't lose their family member, but for Eux us, perdu les we de lost. Nous, I lost family members, moi, perdu and les it de was a great misery for for us. If someone loses a family member, maybe we could si only express our condolence. But if it happens to your family, your feeling is much, much different. Si arrive, In fact, after en fait, the fall of Phnom Penh, I was Phnom told, I was asked to, to join the military, and I wanted to do so, to take revenge. I loved my parents very much if I could uh, exchange the position, si then I, I would rather die place, so that my parents uh, could live. I did everything, I sacrificed everything uh, during the Khmer Rouge regime in order uh, to help uh, my family. I do not want anything from anyone. I just want myself to relieve from the pain of losing my parents. De la douleur, douleur And my father parents. always advised me not Mon to take revenge against the revenge or the bad deed that happened. I have been keeping thinking about this Et and it keeps going in circle and I try myself to, to be busy and not to think about that. Pour ne pas y penser. But still, my mind occupa is occupied uh, constantly with Mon what happened. Every day, my tear flows. Jours, And sometimes I was uh, observed by my, my son when I was Parfois, weeping quietly in my room. Mes enfants me surprennent alors que And je I urge, I urge them chambre. to tell the truth and not just to give a lies or pretext to lies. We all born and of course one day we will die. And if you love the nation, love si the people, please allow si the Cambodian younger generations to understand the truth, to understand the history of what happened. And I beg you to tell the truth. And you should know that you are lucky to be detained here. Your life is not as misery as what happened to us. Here, you are living in a controlled, comfortable environment with aircon, with a proper food regime. Bon and the only thing that I want from you is simply the truth. Or whether you were in a position and you did not have the authority at all during the regime. And that is all what I want to know. President. Madame la partie civile. We would like to inform you that after ascertaining the position of both of you on 8 January 2015 regarding the exercise of the right to remain silent, the Chamber notes that the two of you maintained their express position unless and until such time. The Chamber is expressly informed otherwise by the co accused or their counsels. It is therefore incumbent upon them to inform the chamber in a timely and efficient manner. La chambre, 
Should the accused resolve to waive the right to remain silent and be willing to respond to questions by the bench or relevant parties at any stage of the proceedings? As of today, the Chamber is not informed that the co accused have changed their express position and that agreed to provide their responses to questions. Changement qui permettrait aux deux accusés de consentir à répondre aux questions. President, the hearing of the Le testimony président. of a civil party seeing solidaire is now concluded, and the Chamber Madame will comment hearing the testimony of another civil party, that is 2 TCCP 804, 2 TCW rather. And Madame Civil TCW Party, TCW the TCW Chamber is grateful of your testimony as a civil party. It is now Madame concluded and you are no longer required to be here at the courtroom. Therefore, you may return to wherever you wish to go to. And counsel for civil party, what's on your mind? L'avocat des parties civiles souhaite intervenir. Vous avez la parole. Je me permets d'intervenir, Monsieur le Président, au dernier moment parce que je sais que Madame Sang Sovida a préparé un un long euh, témoignage sur la souffrance que je ne suis pas sûr du coup qu'elle a pu exprimer tout ce qu'elle avait l'intention d'exprimer. Donc je voulais vous demander l'autorisation, Monsieur le Président, de lui redemander à nouveau si elle avait bien pu exprimer ce qu'elle avait prévu d'exprimer, c'est-à-dire qu'elle avait prévu de lire un document qui permettait de détailler les préjudices qu'elle avait subis pendant la période du Campuchia démocratique. J'ai plus l'impression qu'elle s'est laissée un petit peu aller après avoir posé les questions aux accusés et qu'elle n'a pas eu la possibilité de lire ce qu'elle souhaitait lire. Donc je préfère vérifier avec vous, Monsieur le Président, pour que vous puissiez éventuellement lui donner la possibilité de lire ce qu'elle avait prévu de lire si le temps lui en est désormais permis. Je vous remercie. The Chamber had given the floor to the civil party and she actually spent some time putting questions to the Chamber, to the accused through the Chamber. And to Madame Civil Party, if you wish, if you wish to make a, another statement, you have the floor. Civil Civil party, I uh, have uh, given uh, many responses already in the morning, and uh, what I am planning to make uh, the uh, last statement before the chamber reflects uh, dans ma dernière déclaration, déclaration What devant la I Chambre, have given already, but I would like to make a brief statement before the Chamber. I already spoke about the uh, evacuation when I left of Phnom Penh and reached Rissai Kao. Lorsque je suis parti de Phnom Penh pour aller après Rissai Kao. I wanted to mention about the uh, mistreatment happening Je on my family at uh, Rusei Kao. My father realized that the, the civil servant and intellectual were identified. We told uh, them that uh, my father was a merchandise and uh, we were in the field. I uh, feel so pity, pitied on uh, my uh, father uh, because uh, he was mistreated. When uh, my father fell sick, when he reached uh, Rosei Kaula, he fell sick. It was in 1976. My elder sibling and I went to Stung Tom worksite, and Donc, I was told by a, a person on the ox cart that uh, my father was uh, ill. I made a request, and two of us made a request, but only one of us uh, was allowed Nous to visit my father. 
par une demande. Nous avons demandé à pouvoir nous rendre au chevet de notre père. I encounter suffering the most when he was taken away and killed. I would like to make a brief statement. My elder sister Sing could witness the killing, and she went to the killing site to observe the incident. My people were killed. Their belongings were confiscated. Leurs biens étaient confisqués. In 2000. I uh, went to uh, join the ceremony, and Kim en and Kong survived the period. He witnessed the incident about the killing, and I was told that there were two people surviving at the period. I really want to know about the killing of my father. I really want to see uh, the two individuals who witnessed uh, the killing of uh, my father. I uh, do not want to waste the court time. Je ne veux pas I have son temps the same chambre. sufferings as Cambodian people Je sais que have les had. Mêmes souffrances que les Cambodians I en général. do not feel well when uh, I am mentioning and stating about the sufferings. Je ne suis we pas à l'aise have encountered the same sufferings. Je sais que nous avons vécu les mêmes souffrances. Nó bê tật lập nhâm xâm dễ cắt I would like to skip some points. I endure sufferings, very huge sufferings. After I return to live in Phnom Penh, my children always asked me why I am not happy all the time, and I told my children that uh, how could I um, be happy because I uh, have lost uh, my beloved uh, relatives and uh, parents. I do not want to go on, Mr. President, because I feel Monsieur like uh, I am going to collapse uh, when mentioning about the si experience I have uh, went through. The I was uh, mentally, morally uh, tortured because uh, everything Je happened on uh, my parents and my siblings. Moral, du fait que j'ai perdu mes proches, mes frères et sœurs, mes parents. So I would like to conclude my last statement because I do not want to go on. I feel unwell, Mr. President. President, Le thank President. you very much, uh, Madame Sien so Vida. You Monsieur may return Président. to your residence or your desired vous destination. Vous I wish you good health and best wishes. Court officer, please uh, work with uh, Wesu to send uh, Madame Sien so Vida to her residence or desired destination. De the chamber would like to express. It's sincere thanks to Madame Sivipati and uh, Wanara, the TVO staff, who has been sitting all day during the time that the civil party have, uh, testif have has testified. You may also be accused, uh, Miss uh, Nara.